It's your big homie Pablo. Like, check out, we finna get straight to it, man. Like I said earlier, nigga, I got COVID. If y'all ain't seen it in the other video, so my energy ain't gonna be as hot. But we finna get straight to it, man. It's that Kia Boys documentary, a story of teenage car thieves. Let's get it. Now I drive a Kia track car. You know what I'm <laughs> Don't pull up over here trying to take that, man. Let's see what they do. how it looks to steal a car. I can show you inside your car. <laughs> what? Here, guys, this is what I'm going to do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy G, and today I'm going boots on the ground, cover a notorious group of kids, the Kia Boys. These kids are legendary for the amount of cars they are stealing in Milwaukee. Just last year alone, they've stolen 10,000 cars, in particular. And they're out, out, like just doing what they do. Like this is okay. Hondas and Kias. Kias and Hyundai's. Let's roll the tape so I can show Hyundai's. you what they do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bro, look at these dumbass Kia boys. Oh my god. Whoa! Hey, yo, okay. I mean, it was dangerous from the jump, but hey, yo, this is dangerous, bro. This car is gone. There's nothing here but wheels, bro. Like, what did y'all do? Yo. Milwaukee. Call it bit Milwaukee, I need my bucks. Uh, uh, Milwaukee, I need my bucks. Hold on. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking to the citizens of Milwaukee, getting their take on the Kia Boys and the Kia Boys themselves. Let's begin this story. So y'all know who the Kia Boys are. Uh, Alright, well, we're just going to watch it. This is a documentary. We're going to watch it. Thank you. I feel like a little bit of a war correspondent in my own city right now. I believe everybody has a heart. I really hope to find it in these Kia Boys. Everybody Have you heard of the Kia Boys? Have you heard of the Kia Boys? Yeah. No, I haven't. kind of see a lot of it on the news. Yeah, I heard the Kia Boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but how about that? How do you describe what the Kia Boys do? I don't know, just get out their way, they hot. <laughs> they hot. When they break into people's hard work cars and take them and destroy them. Now they just doing to destroy our city and this it's not right. If you were mayor of the city, what would you do about the Kia Boys? Try to make a difference, you gotta start making examples. The mayor, you know, he got his own car shot up, so he doesn't really know what to do. Yeah, I don't know, maybe we need more police. I said some jump out boys and make, you know, undercover, get their asses in and clean up the city. He said send the jump out dude. Bro, they are riding crazy as hell hanging out the window. In the key of What if you were mayor of the city? What would you do? Yo, this is really what they doing. So they just stealing people cars and going joy riding. And just hitting whatever. <laughs> What if you were mayor of the city? What would you do? Lock their ass all up. If I was mayor, I would propose that your first offense as a key boy, you have to do a thousand hours of trash cleanup. That don't help a little more. Man. No? No. The world messed up now, man. What should the punishment be if you get caught stealing a car? Give them some time. Sit there. Two down. years, four years, ten years? A good ten, twenty years, because that's hard earned cars. Mamas, twenty years for the joy ride stealing your car. That ain't happening. <laughs> that ain't happening. I promise you. She said 10, 20, fuck. I'll lock your ass up for saying that stuff. <laughs> what? Look at, look at what I'm driving because of Akia Boys. Akia Boys stole your car? Yes. You can't take the kids to school. Can't make That's cap, boy. That's not because of the Akia Boys. I got chill, boy, cause I already got short breath. Oh my goodness. She said this is this is not because of the kill boys. This ain't. I'ma tell you. <laughs> this is because for one it's a cash car. You probably don't have no car payment. There's probably no insurance on that motherfucker. Two. 
This is because of a 300 credit score, not because of a Kia boy. You know what I'm saying? No, don't do that. So it's tragic. It was sad and tragic. I cried. <laughs> was it a big financial hit to you? Definitely. Good time as an adult. Two years, ten years? Ten years. They keep his ass in there. What do you think should be done? I don't know. You got to kiss. Bro, ten years is crazy for a carjacking. If it's armed, but if you just leave it, if you leave it outside, if we going to do brain inside, but no, if you, they just catch it, <laughs> catch you slipping and take it, that ain't 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Two, three or something, 10 is crazy, bro. Because they be going too fast, I don't know. You don't want to talk okay, to Okay, how many <laughs> years should someone get for robbing a car? Like, what's a fair punishment? I don't want to put a kid in jail for life, but I don't think it should be a slap on the wrist. I don't think so, um, I don't I can't say. Okay. I got boys. They go to jail, I feel bad. Exactly. I was, I go like, imagine hearing your little brother just, just took a car and went enjoy a ride. And, you feel me? And they was like, yeah, we're giving him 10 years. I'm like, hold on, nigga. What your car at? Nigga, I'm gonna go take that. Like, nigga, what? 10 years? You got me fucked up, bro. What? Couple of kids try to rake and rage and fuck up and kill somebody, they gonna give me 20. Yeah, now if they kill somebody, you feel me? For sure. Like, if people act, like, because they are being dangerous. So I get, they catch one of y'all, they are gonna make an example out of y'all. For sure. You get me? But, um, the driving on the sidewalks and shit, for sure, y'all gonna, y'all gonna probably get hit with a 20 piece. You feel me? A cool little 20 piece. You know what I'm saying? If you hit somebody, I can see that being a, a 10, 20 piece. You feel me? For sure. I like player. If we were cellmates, I'd play chess with you. Thank you. I play. I love that game. Yeah? Do you know anyone who has had a car stolen? Yes, that I work with. Do you know anyone that hasn't gotten their car stolen? Yep. Multiple people or just one? Multiple Yeah, I have two or three friends who... So they going like that, bro. How many Guys, of this them is a man is? with multiple people in his circle that has had a car stolen. That is yeah. crazy. That's crazy yeah, to absolutely. think about. Yeah. If you had a message for the Kia boys, what would it be? Kill your little ass out. Stop ruining your city. Stop before you get killed. Uh, kill everybody else, man. Why you out there doing it? Stop doing it. Never see your family get fucking something to see. Maybe if you work and do something for yourself, you will know what it is to have something instead of taking it from people. I feel you, little mom, but shut up. Dude right here said some real shit, though. Y'all playing with the wrong one? A nigga might smoke you over his car. Or you might hit somebody and the judge might smoke you, fool. You get what I'm saying? Like, y'all are... A little old, going a little old deep with it. I ain't gonna lie. Like, there's hope for them in the future, or do you think they're too far gone? Bro, is he rolling up? Bro, is roll <laughs> he rolling up right there? Is it legal in Milwaukee? I need my bucks. They're too far gone. Bro, over here rolling up. It makes me sad to see the Kia boys. Those are young kids doing all they're this. Young baby man, but they don't like, they don't understand what they're doing. A three-year-old know when they're doing right or wrong. Let's say you were the mother of a the Kia boy. What would you tell your son? Oh, gee. Yeah. <laughs> see, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. they... Let's say you were the mother of a Kia boy. What would you tell your son? Yeah. <laughs> See guys, this is what I'm talking about. They gave these out for free because that's how much the Kia boys are doing work around here. We had multiple people that we interviewed in just a span of 15 minutes know somebody or themselves personally that had their car stolen by the Kia boy. That is fucking crazy. Yeah, it is. I didn't even know it was this serious, bro, but it is this serious. It's scary sure to think I'm going to meet somebody that seems to have no regard for human life. You know, steal your car, I told you, all your shit. I told you, I'm in, I'm in the Kia track hall. <laughs> I'm in the hell Kia. <laughs> I cold start my Kia. That bitch sound like. <laughs> you take that motherfucker, boy. I'm, I'm taking you with it, nigga. For a joyride. And their violence has been so notorious that the city of Milwaukee had to cancel a fucking basketball game watch party because these kids are oh. so violent. What, what, watch mean, party? Bro? what up, big dog? I'm on your block. <laughs> Stream 85 plus block. live channels with no hidden fees. YouTube TV. Try it free. We ain't going to. <laughs> Kinder Joy, a yummy treat and dinosaur toy from Jurassic World Dominion. But why are they still making Jurassic Park movies? <laughs> but Jurassic Park came, I think they had 
McDonald's Jurassic Park toys when I still went to McDonald's and wanted a toy. You get me? We had to go in like a toy for a boy. Stupid ass. <laughs> All right, we're here. We're live. How you guys doing? What can you tell us about what we're about to see right now? Man, my little nigga's finna hit the corner and go crazy. Hey, how many Kia boys do you think there are? This, in the this city? is some real hood. Oh. This is some real. <laughs> she said my little nigga spit the corner. Yeah, All right, we're here. We're live. How you guys doing? What can you tell us about what we're about to see right now? Man. My little niggas finna hit the corner and go crazy. Hey, how many Kia boys do you think there are in the city? Hundreds. Hundreds? Kia there. boys and not a boys. Are there any Chevy boys? I hope not, because I got a Chevy over here. It's a whole tutorial on how to do this shit on YouTube. <laughs> Don't say you should have cut this out. Go to Atlanta, though. They got Hellcat and Scat Pack boys out there. <laughs> If you see a nigga walking around with a charger like this, just know he's probably going to steal your car. I'm Tommy G, and I'm here with... Uh, my name's Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you Marvin the Accountant, okay? All right. So, Marvin, when did you start getting into the key of business here? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Like, shit. The crazy thing is... Oh, man. Let me get right. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing on this motherfucker. The crazy thing is, damn, I can't get it right. The crazy thing is, probably a lot of people in Milwaukee know exactly who this is off of just his movements, his voice, how he, what he wearing, all that kind of shit. They know exactly who it is. Some ago, that's when it all started. Huh? Hey, Dads and kids. Did you get nervous you said, like, before? What happened? Like shit. Two summer ago, that's when it all started. Hot hey, days and kids. Did you get summer. nervous before you do that? Hell no. I'm gonna film you guys, but I don't think I'm gonna get into a car with you because I feel like I might die. <laughs> Are there Kia boys that have crashed a car and died? Yeah, the last thing I ever seen somebody asked to drive and then they cried. They flipped the car and left in 20 seconds. Hold this in front of your face while you talk. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We'll have to find something for you. Here, guys, this is what I'm gonna do real quick. All right, now we're good to go. <laughs> what percentage of Kia boys stay strapped when they ride around town? I ain't gonna lie, at least 60%, 60-70% oh, always got good. Do your moms know that you do this? Shit, she know I got a case for that shit. This is some real young. Yeah. What did she say? Did she tell you that? Like Family got the black right here, bro. <laughs> oh my God, young dog. Young dog, y'all shouldn't have even did the interview with this man, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you guys can't be doing this. Yeah, she tell me not to do it. I'll be listening to her too. I don't be doing it. Really got caught one time, so she, so she think I'm good. I don't condone this either, y'all. I tried to stop it, so. Yeah, what's your advice to these young guns out here? Man, stop doing that shit. Pick it back up, line your lines up, you buy your own car. Most of the people stealing cars as kids, so they can slap on the wrist and get right, right out. out. What up, big dog? How you doing? You got the Cartier's looking fresh, man. <laughs> good to meet you. I'm Tommy G. What's going on? So have you heard of the Kia boys? Yeah, yeah. And to people that haven't heard about them before, how do you describe them? Yeah. They Kia boys. Yeah. They do their thing on the real. Watch out for them. But I fuck with them though. If I drive a Kia, should I be concerned? Oh yeah, what's that? They come to get that. They come to get that. What would you want to say to a Kia boy? Man, shit. Be safe. Be safe. It's rough out here. Is this block about oh, no. What do you do if you on the street and you see one of, you see a Kia coming that does not look like it's stopping? Like it's like, oh shit. <laughs> Crazy or what? Hell yeah. What's the most daring or brave thing Man. you've done in the car? Fire. Is this block know. about to get crazy? Never mind, it was just a bill. <laughs> or what? Hell yeah. What's the most daring or brave? You know, I thought it was a, you know, feel me? I thought it was hanging out. And you've done in the car? He was up the sun, roof drive. <laughs> Did you think you were going to die? Hell no. Are you scared of death? Shit, hell no, that shit gonna come. But maybe it can come a little bit later, not today when you're driving out of a sunroof, you know? <laughs> shit, I ain't gonna crash, I got it. <laughs> if you had to guess, the average Kia boy out there, 30 cars, 50 cars, 2 cars? People would be on free, because some people don't know how to drive, so they gotta steal so many cars because they run through them. Because they crash them? Yeah, I know people got like 200 car thefts, 300 car thefts. What? My yeah, bro right here clutching. And are you scared of potentially ever going to jail? Do you ever think about that? No, I ain't gonna lie. I'm really scared of the black truck shit. Fuck the police. I ain't gonna lie. I'm really scared of the black truck. Other than that, fuck the police. Have you thought about how you would spend that time? Shit. You only gonna do like three weeks shit. It's a misdemeanor. You only do three weeks for stealing a car? Hell yeah, it's a misdemeanor. Bro, 
damn, bro, they so young, like, they don't even know, bro, like, yeah, you gonna get slaps on the wrist, you feel me, but, nigga, you ain't gonna stay the same age forever, bro, and if you ain't learning, they just slapping you on the wrist, when you get of age, all, they gonna bring all that back to throw it at you, bro. Yeah. So is there really no punishment for this? Hell no. The high speed, that's when you get a felony. How old do you think the average kid boy is? 12, 11. 12, 11? You know what I was doing when I was 11? I was catching frogs and shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, watch this, watch this, watch this. He <laughs> wasn't doing that in 11. <laughs> what? But he's scared. What did we just see right now? Man, you see the smack and ass shit. That's what smack and ass shit, man. How fast do you think they were going? Like 80, like 80 trying to So do you guys go to school or you just skip school and steal cars all day? I go to school for sure. I go to school. I need my education. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Yeah, shit, bitch, shit, whatever comes with it. I mean, do you see yourself being an astronaut, a fireman, a mechanic? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas don't want to be astronauts no more. <laughs> I mean, well, niggas ain't never want to be no astronaut. But niggas ain't trying to be no astronaut. <laughs> oh, no, they talking about they building hotels in space. We might. I want to do HVAC. I ain't gonna lie. HVAC? Dude, that's a really good profession. I feel like you guys would be perfect mechanics, you know what I mean? Like, you, you already are in the business of cars. Do you know that this city is scared shitless of this right now? The whole city of Milwaukee is pooping their pants because of this shit like that. I feel like I need to move my car off the street. All right, guys, honest question, honest question. So if that car would have gone out of control and swerved and hit me and I died, what do you think should happen to the driver? Yeah, he should have got out the way. If the car hit me, it would have been my fault. Hell yeah, yeah. it's a real. You see that motherfucker. People know when the kid plays come through, get up out the way. Hey, would you guys have even cried at my funeral and brought flowers or anything? I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't even know that much. I don't even know you, I'm gonna lie. But I'd be like, damn, bro, shit. I'd be like, damn, bro, I got smacked. I asked them, if it hit me, they said it would be my fault. Yeah, they said shit, you should have got out the way. And that's the fucked up part because they dead serious. That's a fucked up mentality. It is, it is. And it's like they don't got no sense of sympathy or nothing, like, no more. You know what I'm saying? Because they could be stealing a single mom's car. That If she misses that car, she gets evicted from her place, and her whole family's life is fucked. People always say... You're supposed to offer them guidance and direction. How are you gonna offer somebody that don't want nothing, that don't want to listen? What do you say to people that say, hey, they just need a better family structure, they need a male role model? I mean, that could be true in some cases, but some of these people have that. A lot of these kids, really good kids, but they followers. Mm. A lot of kids really at home a lot by themselves. Mom's working second shift. Trying to feed four or five kids. And on God, a lot of them do not want to listen, bro. You can't, like, a, a young nigga is not going to listen to this this old. A young nigga damn sure listen to this old nigga right here for the shit show. But a, a young nigga, we look at it like, I ain't even a young nigga. I'm 25. But it's like, looked at like, why I'm going to listen to you, bro? You ain't doing what I want to do. You ain't driving what I want to drive. Why I'm going to listen to you? You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you driving a Kia. I want to drive a Lambo. What can you tell me to get me to that Lambo? I ain't finna listen to you. I'm finna keep stealing these Kias till I run up on a Lambo. You get me? It's like, it's like that, if y'all get what I'm saying. You really can't blame it on the parents. No. Young men like to push the boundaries. Yeah. I think now with these cars, they testing the boundaries of death almost. They really are. I mean, that was crazy. They could have driven through that car right there. Yeah, hell yeah. They could have hit that curb and started flipping at any time. Should we check out the aftermath? Yeah, let's go check it out. All right. Okay, so we have to be ready. If they swerve back around, we have to hide, dude, because I don't trust these guys to drive properly. All right, so look. See all these tire marks? They swerve into someone's front yard. Look, right here and right here, 10 feet from the school we're gonna interview a lady that almost got hit are you okay how close to, the, to you did that come like pretty close that was fucking crazy <laughs> that was wild, wild shit. is that normal have you ever seen something like that before yeah every day every day that wild Yup. Y'all got a hood pass courtesy of the mob. Gotta watch y'all because they get kind of treacherous over here. Dude, and I have a girlfriend I love very much I need to go home to. You gonna go home tonight. You She's my know. sweet. She said you gonna go home tonight. <laughs> what happened over there, man? Man, he was doing 80 and tried to eat break. Can't do the... The guy's on the Hold front. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Did y'all see it? Are we finna see it? What happened over there, man? Man, he was doing 80 and tried to eat... Brody. Okay. 
them ain't your side, bro. Or they might be. I don't know, but God damn it, them shit like you finna start flying. And like he got Peter Pan shoes on, bro. But I do like at least he. I, I don't care about it, but he kept it all Adidas. But you catch me out there, hey. I would have on Nikes, Adidas, and Jordan at the same time. As long as they match, I don't give a damn. <laughs> the guy's on the fucking car! <laughs> oh fuck, my car's up there. I don't want my car. You see people running for their life up the there, dude? Did you see that? They run a stop sign. These kids are gonna fucking die! I'm getting scared watching it. I'm not even in the hey, car. Hey, hey, hey. y'all see that we Hot Wheels? We like the Hot Wheels on it. Did you see how fast we put the tire on? That was crazy. Hot Wheels, man. You got some cojones, man. That's for sure. Hell yeah. Have you ever gotten yeah, to a police chase before? We either did a pit stop. Or they pop a tire and change it and come back. They can't. They can't chase because they, well, they can, but like look, after you doing so much dangerous. Bro, right here on house arrest. Bro, this nigga on tether, bro. They well, got terminated. Well, you're a reckless man, you know that? <laughs> Are you ever sitting in the back of the car thinking, I really wish I wasn't here because this is scary as fuck? No, no, no. I'm driving the back seat. If I'm in the joint, I'm in the front seat. So you're all, either you're driving or nothing? Yeah. I'm Mr. Me. Ebert. They call me Mr. Ebert. Where do you guys put these things? This is what you do. You ride through the hood. You see a bend of house. Bro. Yeah, you see if they Bro. Open garage, shit, the garage, open parking it. Sometimes your car be there, sometimes you won't. <laughs> Hello, sir, how you doing? It's the UPS. Oh, UPS gives him an extra little kick for this route, because this is crazy. Sir, can I ask you another question, Professor Ebrake? How are you going to be an Professor astronaut Ebrake. or an entrepreneur if you're getting yourself into trouble with these Kias? Shit, I don't even ride joint shit, I ain't going to lie. Like, the only time I got in a stolen car, say, say if my boy called me, like, I got some fat. I'm like, damn, I got to drive that. I ain't drive that yet, so, shit. Just being a Kia boy gets your chicks. <laughs> yeah, I ain't I hate your dick, you, you, you pull up in the joint. The bus just hit you. They hit a bus? Oh, really? Oh, okay. It's ain't even soup. Bro. Can you put it on speaker? Guys. How the bus hit you, bro? It's the thing that's, that I'm trying to process right now. Like, to me, this is completely crazy and wild. But to you, this is just... What day is it? Tuesday, huh? Yeah. Just another Tuesday it's for another you. Tuesday. So can you describe what you're bus. doing right now? Oh, shit. My, these motherfuckers in the system, they know these very well. How do you actually steal a Kia? Is it an easy process? Hell yeah. Could you show us how it looks to steal a car? I can show you inside your car. Okay, let's do a simulation of him stealing my car. You got a flathead. Stick your flathead right here. And then you would, you would want to pull it down and then just break it down. And then it's going to be like a little a silver piece. You just put the flathead in there and you break it. Then you started with a charger piece, like a, like this. Like, like if you used to have a Honda Air key, you know, you don't never, you don't ever possibly leave a plug in piece right here. You see how fast I reach right here? It's an yeah. instinct. <laughs> I would have been gone and shit. <laughs> Sir, I would have been very sad if you stole my car. <laughs> hey, can you picture me at my house crying when my car's not there anymore? Yeah. <laughs> and what do you think about that? Shit, you got a shirt. What if I don't though? Shit, should have had it. That's illegal. <laughs> <laughs> Your roommate just took up percussion. The insurance is not gonna get you a, your car back though. <laughs> you need a job that gets you out of here. I need, need a little song. Indeed you do. <laughs> do you know any key boys that have been shot at while stealing a car? Yeah. Do you have friends that have gotten in trouble and are in the system right now or in jail right now? Yeah. There they go right Uh oh, there. here we go. <laughs> I ain't used to do no shit like that back in my day. See, and that's what I say, like, not this not to that shit, extreme. This shit changed so much. Go roll, roll, roll. They slide that steam. Oh, shit. Bro, you should have been moved your whip if you had it. Oh, my gosh. Hey, not the Chevy, though. Not the Chevy, though. Don't hit the Chevy. Hold on. And this is why... I need help on my Patreon. We're trying to take shit to the next level right now. We're doing more angles, more cuts, more scenes. We're on the block kind of doing dangerous shit. This is some wild shit, so um, Patreon link in bio. Yeah. Every time they pass my car, I'm like, please not my car, please Bro, not my car. These kids is like a the like fucking street. ping pong to them. That's how casual they are about stealing a car. Right, should we clear out of here? Yeah, they calling the police. Okay, shit's getting hot. Yeah, hell yeah. Y'all see how long ago smack that motherfucker. I told y'all. Bro, boy, yeah. I'll tell you guys like this, all right? First, thanks for giving us a show that was fucking something I've never seen before in person. <laughs> the other thing is, as like a big brother, 
I just hope that you guys stay okay, stay safe. I don't want to see anything bad happen to you guys, okay? Yeah, they pulled that mug up. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> hey, look, make sure y'all blur out the plates. I'll uh, say, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they had charges for that shit. But I wish the best for you guys. I hope you stay safe. I can't believe they really just got on here and did all this on camera, bro. The mask and stuff, that ain't going to help for real, bro. I don't know if y'all heard what happened to K-Flock. They got the whole yin the mean on. He's in Rikers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be safe, man. This shit is crazy. I gotta go check on my car, man. Y'all fuck me, I'm fucking cheating. Fuck me, it's fucking cheating.